We're going to talk and demonstrate a very significant package, the QNI, Curator Network Insight, on use cases created by our friend Peter S14. So Curator, since the beginning, has provided the benefit of mixing logs or events with flows. And those flows have allowed us to detect conditions on source or destination IP, source or destination port, and number of bytes uh, incoming or outgoing. Also, the protocol, whether it's TCP or UDP, what type of application is it? Is it mail, is file transfer? Uh, whether the traffic is incoming or outgoing by virtue of the network topology, all that has always been very, very useful. Then Q flows have also been like the next step, which allows us to look into the first 64 bytes of every packet and, you know, pick and look for things like social security numbers or anything that uh, we want to look for a match on the actual payload. And then Curator incorporated forensics which basically allows us to see everything because these are pickup, so and the pickups have everything. So we can look at the hashes of files, we can see the files uh, content, but the, the forensic is always, as the name implies, after the fact. Uh, so it is after the breach has happened, after the incident has happened, is that I can actually go and actually look into what happened. But why, what if we would like to actually see the same things that we see with forensic, but dynamically, not after the fact, but as the packets are coming, I want to start looking for some key properties like the file name or the uh, compute as it is coming, the file hashes, uh, calculate the, the file sizes or look into passwords, let's say that we are looking for trivial passwords or known passwords or, you know. And given the fact that mail is so important, I would like to look into a couple of uh, uh, parameters from the email fields, like, you know, where is it going? Who is the, the person that originates and who's the one who receives? Uh, but also, we, we to see things like you know the request URL, the content type, the IP reputation, and that uh, I can check it against a feed from the X4, the request URL, the web category the classification that we can also get uh, from from the uh, from the X4. We also would like to see you know the HTTP server, the response, the version, what browser uh, has been actually used. We would like to see even the DNS query in case that they had been one. All these in, 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 in the package, there are right now 25 of these properties that I can, again, dynamically begin to look at them. And then I can work with rules that come from the package and I can modify them and create my very own to detect things like spam whether it's coming, uh, incoming or outgoing, whether we can detect actually malware, since we are calculating the hash dynamically, we can actually look and compare that hash with feeds that we get from the X-Force or any other uh, uh, threat feeds. We can detect phishing. We can detect it the same file name, you know, uh, with uh, it, it's been seen in the network in the last 15 minutes, more than 15 times. Uh, we, we All those combinations, and again, some of those rules come in the package already, and, and you can uh, create your very own, but now allows you to, on the fly, detect these conditions that before you could only go back post-mortem and, and, and look at them. Now, in Curator, you can see uh, see them as they happen. Let's take a look at a video, uh, at, the, at a demo, uh, to see these in action. So here we can see flows coming on the network activity, but if we actually take a look at any one of these events, let me just take uh, one, we see that now we have all those custom properties in here. Well, this particular event doesn't doesn't uh, have any, 
but uh, uh, we actually see that so many of them do have some of those uh, fields. Let me actually pick one that has uh, matches in there. So we see here, for example, the fast hash that it been, uh, was computed as the file was actually coming. Uh, we see the file size. Uh, the, user, the user agent, the guy was using Firefox. Uh, the file name, ah, actually a JavaScript file name, you know, HTTP. So you see all these uh, uh, custom properties that now are being actually uh, can be extracted and can be uh, played upon on the rules. Actually, we have some searches that caught my attention that we got uh, Superflow C here. Uh, we got some searches that are uh, uh, kind of interesting in here. So, for example, uh, let's see email attachment by sender by type. We got, you know, the content type, the originating, the file hash, the hello message, the, you know, the recipient user. So this search is actually looking at the subject content, you know, we, 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 we see it here with the originating and the receive. So you can make not only great searches and reports and, and uh, but also you can get uh, offenses to fire. Let's take a, some of the, a look at some of the rules that come with the Q&A package. Here in the offenses tab, if I look for Q&I, I see these uh, five rules and knowledge, you know, I can detect malware as it comes via the hash. I can observe, you know, file hashes across multiple hosts, uh, phishing attempts, uh, spam and phishing, you know, the same file too many times. Those conditions come naturally. And again, you can take these and modify them and, and, and create uh, any other one that you might be looking for. And again, that capability of looking and calculating hashes as they are coming is kind of uh, interesting. Let me put this search that actually shows that, uh, look at that, those hashes are dynamically being uh, calculated and uh, the file size is actually dynamically calculated. So let's see some of the rules that fire uh, with this event, but as you see, it's, it's very easy now for me as, as, the as the packets are actually coming to check for file hashes of some specific malware or threats that I'm uh, that I want to be watchful for. So let's take a look at this offense, uh, the 308. You know that uh, I'm creating an X force. Let's actually display the rule. I like always to do that. Uh, that's you know two Q and I uh, rules that detect you know. <laughs> Uh, the 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 f file hashes associated with malware threats uh, with defeat uh, uh, from the actual export and that's the beauty when you get you know flows and events uh, playing together to detect uh, otherwise events that will be that will be hidden from you. Let's take a look at one more offense in here. This is on potential span and phishing again two event and twenty seven flows. And let's display the rules that made this trigger. It's only one rule in here, and this potential span phishing email. Let's see why this rule thinks that this is a spam. Well, it's a local to remote, remote to local. This is involving uh, elements that are defined as mail servers in any one of these uh, building blocks. And when the flow matches content subject is not null, okay, so it's not blank, and email replies, can look lock context subject equal false, that's an AQL query, that indicates that uh, the this is not a reply, this is a message that is going out for the first time. And when at least five flows are seen with the same subject, okay, going to different <laughs> mail servers in 15 minutes, well, that most likely is uh, a definition for spam. 